OK, let's move on to the next. Uh, next, 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 next. Next, next. Problem. Yeah, 42. 42, 42, 42. 42 is again the same thing, two point. But in this case, you know exactly why in a set. It's another totally arbitrary point. I call x1, y1, x2, y2. Uh -huh. So we're using the formula for the slope first. Uh -huh. And our specific example, y2 is 8, y1 is 5, x2 is negative 1, and x1 is, is negative 6. But be careful because we have double negative. Negative of the formula, negative of the value together become positive. And this is 3 over 5. This is a slope. So in this case, I recommend no using the formula, no using this, no, no. Why no? Well, we can, but no, 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 I do not recommend. Because we have now directly the y and the set. So you have arbitrary point. So in my opinion, it's much better using that formula. y minus y1 is equal m x minus x1. Uh, this formula is a point point slope formula it's much better in my opinion when you have a point well, we have two points either either point the first or the second doesn't matter and the slope is given so it's y minus y1 is 5 is equal to 3 over 5 parentheses x minus <laughs> again plus 6 uh -huh. but on day one standard this thing is standard, I need to remove the fractions, okay? I put a variable in the left part. I multiply the whole thing by 5. You multiply the entire equation by 5. We have 5y minus 25, because 5 times y, 5y, 5 times 5, 25, and 5 times 3 fifths is 3, just 3, because the 5 is cancelled out here. Okay, now distribute the property. <clears throat> this is 3x plus 18. Okay, now I try to condensing. Okay, condensing no. Express uh, everything is in standard. In standard, the variable you put in the left. So 3x and move to the left. 5 stay here. Now we have 18 plus 25. Okay, 18 plus 25, 43, uh, 43. And the only detail, sophisticated detail is now, okay, normally when you express a standard, the coefficient in front of the x is always positive. But this is easy to change. You multiply whole thing by negative one, now it's 3x minus 5y equal negative 43. Uh -huh, uh -huh. This is the answer. I suppose que es B, no? Well, C sí, es B, es B. The answer is B. 3x minus 5y. How do you feel in that part? How do you feel? You feel good? Uh -huh. You need another extra example? We continue or let's move on directly to the word problem. What do you think? Oh, let's do one more. Uh -huh. Are you following your recommendation? One more of this. A ver, Dalida. Samuel. Samuel, are you clear? Okay, everything is due today, no? So tomorrow I, I will grade the final. Okay. Uh -huh. Alejandro. Dalida. Eh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Are you clear, Samuel? Samuel, answer me. Yeah, okay. Yeah or yes? Uh, Dalida, uh, my question, Dalida, is are you clear that today is the last day? No more lecture? So Friday, no. 
we have no Friday, we have no Monday, and you waiting for the, the student that they will be called algebra, it's October 25th. Okay? Clear. The lead is clear. Guys, uh, so like some small exceptions, you are doing very well. I am proud. But the problem is that you, I don't know, so you have to you taking another class. You have too much class, too, more, too, too many class. Uh, you forgot to send me some tests, but no, this is a moment that you don't forget because I put zero. See, I do not receive information zero. Okay, and I need to uh, uh, send the total overall information for the grade this Friday. This Friday, I finish my work with you and I start new one. Okay. Uh, uh, do you want to do one more of this the line or no? Or you are boring to see that? Can we turn all, all assignment? No, 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 no. Santana, what, what all you want, uh, Santana? Santana, email me. And we negotiate uh, your, your, require, your requirement. Okay? Anything you want to prove? Okay, uh, you... Uh -huh. uh, great professor, I didn't call my name. Okay. Ah, uh, Davy. What happened, Davy? I don't understand your your question. I didn't call my name. I am here. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Davy, by the way, I have a, a doubt. Do you put another name in the roster? Because when you send, uh huh. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. I realize this. Wow. What the hell? Does uh, what is your real name, Davy, or another name? Official, no, you have official name in the roster. Okay, okay, David. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, ah, I understand. I understand now. Okay, another question, David. Do you take with me college algebra this semester? Super. Okay. Okay, so uh, you don't answer the question. We continue doing this kind of problem or we skip to the word problem? What do you think? One more. I One think more. we should skip to another problem. Yeah, I, I guess so. Everyone is agree with the Yasmin? Yasmin proposed me no more line, line, because it's the same stupid thing, right? It's computer slow, uh, using two formulas and the rest is multiplication to eliminate the fraction. Everyone is agree. Okay, let's go to directly to the word problem. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, let's do it with the word problem. Look, let's do it 47, 47. Okay, the word problem is hard because you need to understand, you read careful the situation. And you try to set up it's the most complicated part, the equations. Normally, this is the kind of problem is solving using system of equations, so two equations and two unknown. Normally, x, y. No? Uh -huh. This is the, the algebra part, but okay. So I recommend, look, Helen, 47, I want to read. I try to understand a little bit when you read the first time. So I recommend do a table to clarify, no too many words. And you you put a table and the table help you to set out the equation. So say, Helen Weller invested $10,000 and an account that pays 11% APR. Okay, so Helen deposit chung inside this account Okay, ten thousand dollar and the annual percent rate for this account is eleven percent. Okay, period. How much additional money, extra money, in another account? I suppose, or in, in the same, I don't know. Must be invested in an account that pay a APR of fourteen. So it's another account. So extra money. 
additional money, I, I call like a variable because you don't know, you call X. Such that the total interest is equal to the interest in two investment at the rate 12. Wow, what the hell? Okay, so I, the, in, when I read the first time, the only thing I understand very well is that okay, you have three accounts, three potential accounts. So I write 11%. This is APR. Okay, this is APR. APR. We have another account, que 14. And we have another account, que 20. Okay, let me start again. Uh -huh. Entonces, now, wait, 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 wait. Normally, in this problem, it's talking about investment. We have basically, basically two row, two additional row. One row is about money, actually money. Money. Another is the interest. Uh -huh. And this is the, the relationship between money and interest, money and interest is that you multiply, uh, sorry, interest, sorry, interest, interest, it's easy, interest, the formula, interest, interest expressed of course in dollar is equal to the money that you deposit multiplication by the APR. And the APR, of course, express it in decimal. So you have the APR in percentage, you divide it by 100, you say you automatic and you put in decimal, a multiplication that decimal time the money that you deposit, and you find the interest that you earn in this account. Okay, so now in the first, you have you have, but let me, let me, let me give more space for the table. So you understand that we have 11%. You understand that we have 14% in another account. And you understand that you have another account, okay, 12. And we make a decision what is the best, you know? The, the money that you deposit, or you deposit, you know, Helen, Deposit in the 11% account is $10,000. $10,000. Uh -huh. Entonces, the question say how much additional? Additional is, I have no idea. Entonces, you put a variable. Uh -huh. Additional, this is my goal. Find additional money. Uh -huh. it, it must be invested in the 14, okay. Uh, such that the total interest is is the same, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I call, I have no idea, this X, but this and this together plus is equal another money, okay, I have no idea. Uh, this is my first equation, equation number one. And the question number two is CC because you're using that formula. And you multiply the money times the interest. Basically, it's multiplication this and this. So the first row and the second row. Of course, you put like a 0 0.11, 0 0.14, and 0 0.12 because you express a percentage to decimal. When you multiply 0 0.11 times 10,000, the answer is 1,000 or 1,100. Okay, what's the multiplication this and this? Plus, the multiplication this and this is easy. It's 0 0.14 x is equal 0 0.12 y. Okay, this is my equation too. Uh -huh, the reason that okay, this is equal is because in the last sentence, it's a hair total annual income for the investment, no, no, sorry, sorry. Such that the total interest is equal, is equal. This is indicate equal, equal. Total interest is this. So you split the money into account, 11 or 40. Uh -huh. For sure, in the 11, I deposited 10,000. And the 14, I have no idea. 
but earn the same interest you take total money and deposit it in the account of 12. This is the idea. You follow me? Okay. Okay, the rest, when you finish to set up the equation, well, the only thing you should do is algebra. Okay, so I copy again the equation to make sure. Look, you copy 10,000 plus x equal y. This is my first equation. And my second equation is 1100 plus 0.14x equal 0.12y. And this is my second equation, and this is a linear system of equation. Okay, I take advantage. I take advantage. I take advantage. Que y is isolated. Y I apply substitution. So you take this equation, you take this equation, this equation, this equation, and you plug it in where? Here, in the y place. Okay, this is my new equation now is 1100 plus 0.14x is equal 0.12. No y anymore. No, you replace by 10,000 plus x. Okay, so in that moment, we have only one unknown is x. Okay, therefore, you multiplication like that, boom, distribute the property. This is algebra procedure. Okay, you know very well. This is 1100 plus 0.14x. And how do you put in a calculator? You put in a calculator, of course. Uh, 10,000 multiplied by 0.12 is 1200 plus 0.12x. Okay. Now you solve for x. So you, for example, you bring down 0.14. And you put in the left, you move 12, you move to the left also, but also subtraction negative. And the right hand side, I bring down 1200 minus 1100. Okay, we combine later. This is 0.02x, and this is 100. Subtraction. Finally, divided by 0 0.02, both sides. Excellent. Is equal, you put in a calculator, why not? Is five thousand dollars. This is represent the extra money that you need to deposit in this account that correspond with the 14 percent in order to get the same interest. You take the total money and you deposit it in the account 12 percent. And the answer is this D. We Boom. Professor, Professor, please. This, this, the, um, the, um, the instructions, the instructions on this um, equation say to solve by the elimination method, and we um, and we solve using the substitution method. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. However, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Do you want to do by elimination? Remember. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Why not? And so the complication for doing for elimination is. That means that you need to eliminate fractions uh, or decimals, sorry. Okay, let, let, let's try. In, in my opinion, it's easier doing by substitution. However, if you want, so in the real life you are doing, but the method you consider better. But okay, okay, okay. Okay, suppose the equation one, I put in a standard form, is x minus y equal 10,000. Uh, this is the equation one, right in standard, x, y, and constant. And the equation two is very hard. Be, well, hard, no, no, no hard. You multiply by 100, by 100, because, for example, you want to eliminate the decimal. You have 14, 14x. 0 0.14 times 100 is 14. Uh, minus 12y is equal, uh, I move this, uh -huh, 
and this is negative 11, 1, 2, 3, and 4. 4? Four. 4, no, 2 more, right? See, 4. This is equation 2. After the multiplication, uh, the thing I did was multiplication by 100, so, so you have 11 and 2 more 0 plus 14x uh -huh, equal 12y. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I uh, rearrange like that. I move 14, well, 14 I stay in the left, 12 I move, and 11, 11 something, 11,000, no? 11,000. 11,000? Yes. No, but how many is zero? How many is zero? 11? Yeah. Okay. 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 So, so now, Yang Ming, for example, if you try to do by elimination, maybe you multiply the equation number one by negative 12. Because what is my intention? You multiply this times this, give me minus 12x. Multiplication this and this, give me positive 12y. And you multiply this and this, que es 10,000 times 12. Uh -huh. Entonces es, of course, negative, no? Negative. 12 and 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. And this is my new equation 1 after the multiplication by negative 12. Okay. I, I, I forgot temporalities. Okay. Now, ready. 14 minus 12, 2. This cancel out. Elimination. Uh, well, something is weird. Okay. Ah, this is positive, no? Well, right, this is positive, no? Right, positive or negative? Well, negative. And negative, no? It's negative, too. I don't think so. Okay, Yasmin, this is super complicated doing that way, okay? So no elimination. Substitution is super fantastic. Okay, forget about this. Ah, okay, it's negative. Ten thousand. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yes, you're right. Okay, okay. So say ten thousand is negative. Ten is negative. As the original, no? When you, aha. Uh -huh. Entonces, now, eh, eh, 10,000 is negative, but when you multiply, become positive, no? And he said, now, eh, eh, 10,000, no? Because it's 12, uh, no, it's 120,000 minus 110,000, subtraction is 10,000, divided by 2. Uh, nice. And we get the same answer, guess. 5,000. But this is too complicated. Uh -huh. Well, no, no, I don't know. What do, I, what do you think? Better by substitution or elimination? Either way. Uh -huh. Opinion, opinion, opinion. Opinion. Yeah, I mean, it's okay or no? Okay, good. Uh, what do you prefer? You prefer substitution or you prefer elimination? Opinion, opinion. What do you prefer? What method? I don't know why in my brain I prefer substitution. Elimination. Okay. Angelica is elimination. I like. Okay, Angelica. Okay, let's do one, one more example. Let's do one more example. Let's do one more example. Okay. Suppose 49, 48, 48, 48. Okay, 48 say, Mardi. Mardi receive. And 
inherent of 70,000 dollars. Okay. She invests part in the account 12. So we have one account, APR, APR, is 12. Uh -huh, but she deposited no, no total the uh, the money, one part. Okay, I have no idea. So money. So I call X. If I have no idea, it's unknown. So I put X. Okay. So she basically split the money into account. Twelve and eleven. Uh -huh. No three account, eh? like in the previous example. It's two account. So I have no idea eh, why. But together is $70,000. Together. And this is my first equation. And the interest, interest, que is the multiplication is the multiplication the APR time money is 0 0.12 is present in decimal divided by 100 0 0.11 x plus 0 0.11 y together plus okay uh -huh. and this is uh, probably say case 8100 8100 this is the question too Okay, do you understand how you set out the the, 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 the the problem, the questions? Any question, how you set out, it's the same. Remember, interest is equal. Money, time, APR. But APR in decimal. Mm -hmm. It's the only formula that we use in this kind of problem, it's investment problem. Uh -huh. Uh, bueno, let's do a substitution. Elimination, elimination. You, Angelica, uh, Angelica, and. Um, is Angelica or Angelina? Let me see. Angelica, Angelica. Angelica, like elimination, and um, the problem say elimination. Okay, so I try to mm, 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 eliminate the decimal because it's not good for elimination you multiply the equation 2 by 100 so we have 12x plus 11y equal 81 0 0 and you when you multiply it by 100 you attach two more zero and it's the equation 2 now yeah i forgot temporary this equation I want to copy. Oh, yeah. Copy, 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 recopy. Again. X plus Y equal 700,000. Sorry. Equation 1. 12X plus 11Y equal 81, 4, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. Equation 2. Okay, and day one, day one, let me read the problem again, because we have two unknown X and Y, but they ask me specifically, specifically find the amount invested in 12, and the amount invested in 12 is X. So we are trying to find X, because it's exactly the question. So now, if you want, so for x you eliminate y okay y is not necessary and you multiply it by negative 11 the first equation so says negative 11 x minus negative 11 y is equal to 70 thousand i'm sorry seven zero four zero Multiply by 11. 
down the answers uh, make make sense. It's negative seventy seven and four zero. One, two, three, four. And this is my new equation one, not two. After the multiplication by negative eleven. Basically, I ignore temporary this equation. Yeah, I focus in this equation one and two new. And subtraction is x because twelve minus eleven is one. This cancel out elimination. And this is now eighty one. One, two, three, four minus seven seven. One, two, three, four, seven. The answer is forty. Forty thousand dollar is the answer. Let's come back to the word problem. 40, 40, 40. There you go. Boom. Do you follow me? Do you understand? Uh -huh. Remember, this is crazy. Well, crazy, no. In my opinion, the most complicated part is the set out the equation. No? It's very useful to do the table. In this problem, you organize any column of the table corresponding with the different account. No? And the classical row in this table is APR, money and interest. And this is the organization. OK, any question, any question, any question? What do you want? Do you want I do one more? Or, or for example, one more? Or you consider a, one more, right? Uh, one more, okay. Okay, I propose you one thing. What well, I do one more, Angelic. and after I will do the the problem in the final test, exactly the same. And you help me. The word problem in the final test, because I I know okay, we don't practice too too much too much this. Uh, so I need to make sure that you are doing well. Okay, this is what make extra nine thousand last year. Uh -huh. Okay, from the part time job, he invested part of that money at ten percent. Okay, okay, okay. APR, APR, APR. Money and interest is my basic three row in this kind of problem. Because I saw okay, we have one account that have ten percent APR interest ten, uh -huh. and the money that I deposit, I have no idea, no, because he in part. What mean part? Split the money, X. Uh -huh. And the rest, K Y, and nine percent. And together is the extra money that he make in the part-time job, no? Que is nine thousand dollars. Uh -huh. Remember the formula. The formula you convert this to decimal. Divided by 100, divided by 100 is super easy. It moves the decimal point to places to the left. Uh, this is 10, but actually this zero will have no sense, you know? So it's 0 0.1, 0 0.1, I'm going to find the interest multiplication by x, I have no idea what is x plus. 0 0.09, y is equal, the problem say, Okay, it's $870. This is the interest area in this account. Oh okay. This is my equation one, and this is my equation two. Uh -huh. As always, to eliminate the, the decimal and the equation, because I like for elimination using uh, whole numbers and the coefficients, no decimal, you multiply in that case by 100, okay? 
because you have two one decimal play here, but you have two decimal play here. Those are mo much better multiplication by 100. If you multiply the equation number two by 100, the entire equation number two by 100, uh, we had 10 eggs. Uh -huh, because it's 0 0.1 multiplication by 100 is equivalent to say move the decimal point to place it to the right one two i think i think in this case nine in this case is 87 zero and two extra zero and this is my new equation too okay so say oh I forgot temporary this equation Okay, you focus it in the equation one and the new equation two without decimal. Well, well, so they want to find what? They want to find how much was invest at night. Oh, they want why? They want why? Okay, the money invest in the account 9% APR. So I need to do something to elimination x, okay, the variable, okay, I don't, I don't care. Okay, I copy my equation again here. x plus y equal 9,000. And 10x plus 9y equal 87, 87, no, it's 870. No, uh, it's 87, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I propose you, for example, well, I suppose get better multiplication this equation by negative 10. Because when you multiply this equation, okay, number one, by the way, by negative 10, we have negative 10x ready for elimination, that part at least. Minus 10y is equal to minus 9, 0, 0, 0, and 1 extra 0 because it's 10. Mm -hmm. This is cancel out, boom. This is minus y, and it's a sequel, I suppose, que es 30,000 something, no? No, no, 3,000. 3, okay, 9, 1, oh, let me see, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, minus. 87 and 30. Boom, boom, boom. The answer is 3000, pero negative. Of course, you divide by negative one both sides. The answer is 3000. Es de extra, no? Extra money. Que he invest in the account 9%. What's the name? How much invest in 9? is the option A, I guess. Do you understand very well or no? So what do you propose? Let's do one more, 50, and the, and the, and the, and the problem of the final test. Let's do them both. We have time, no? Okay. Any question, guy? Do you understand very well or no? I am concerned for this. You understand or you don't? Ah, oh, okay, the word problem. So, so what do you propose me? Let's do in the last one and the, and the test for the, and the pro word problem with the final. And that's it today, for today. Okay, let's do it, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's move on to 50. It's the last problem. Roberto. Roberto. Roberto invests so money. Okay, to say again the same idea. APR. APR. Money and interest. Interest. Okay, to say Roberto invest some money. Some money is X. I have no idea. It's 7%. 7. Some money. X. Uh -huh. uh, and invest. Uh -huh. This is complicated. This is 
this is three thousand more than twice this amount in APR of nine percent. So we have nine percent here, nine percent, nine percent, nine, 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 nine percent. And the formula or expression to define this is well, I have no idea. Is is maybe why, no? Maybe why, maybe why. Uh -huh. Maybe why. But the why, according to the problem, say, oh, let me see, is 3,000 more. And this key word, more, than twice this amount is. 3,000 more is additional, plus, plus, plus what? Twice, twice, two times, two times what? Two times this amount, o sea, this amount is, I suppose, que sex. Do you understand this translation? Word problem to the algebra equation? Oh, uh -huh. More, the key word more, when you see more is addition, plus. And twice is two times. So basically, I take the money, take the deposit in seven, I multiply by two and increase in 3,000 total. And this is the Y expression, this. And the interest you convert to decimal this. Uh -huh. And you multiply, and you multiply 0 0.078. And this is equal something. When you put together the interest, is $3,770. Well, this equation, ah, oh, wow, it's incomplete. I have no idea, this equation. Because the problem never talking about the total money. However, this equation is complete, and this equation is also complete. So my equation so far is this equation, equation number one, let me call this. And equation number two. Do you understand the new situation in this problem? Okay, let me manipulate in order to express like elimination. So multiplication by 100 again. So 7x plus 9y equal 3770. And when you multiply, you put attach to new zero. Okay, now, now, now. <coughs> this equation is putting a standard. I put minus 2x plus y equal 3,000. Equation number one and equation number two after the multiplication by 100. <coughs> wow. Okay, now. What should I do? Okay, therefore I need to come back again to the world problem. How how much <coughs> was investment in night? They, they want why? If you think I try to find. Therefore, you must do something in order to eliminate the the X. Well, well, well. Remember the elimination, we need exactly the same coefficient and different sign. So I propose you multiply by two this equation and multiplication by seven this equation. Why? Because two times seven is 14 and two times seven is negative 14. So you multiply by two, the entire equation number two is 14x plus 18y. Uh -huh. So you put in a calculator now. Put in a calculator now. Three, seven, 730 times 2. Okay, S754 and 30. This is my new equation 2. And when you multiply equation 1 by 7, we have negative 14, exactly we expect, plus 7y equal, uh -huh, this is 21, no? 21 because 
21,000. That is my new equation too. But it's ready now for elimination. It's ready now for elimination. Okay, this is cancel out when you add it. This is 25 y. And now you subtraction. You subtraction this minus 75430. Uh -huh. And the answer is 73. But it's addition. It's addition, no subtraction. Hello. Hello. It's addition, no? Because it's positive. Okay, let me do it again. It's 75430. 1, 2, 3, plus 21,000. Boom. The answer is 775,000. 775,000 seven divided by 25 both sides. Mm -hmm. Oh, the answer is y is equal 31. 31 what? 1,000 dollars. Is the money how much money, how much, how much was invested in the account night? 31,000. 31,000 SC. Do you follow me? Do you follow me? Okay, it's no super complicated. But depending, you know, in this case, we basically working with the investment problem, get the same format, APR, money and interest. We have in the real life another kind of problem. Uh -huh. But if you understand the problem, you will be able to set out the equation. After that, you apply algebra in the story. Okay, let's move on to the word problem I okay, put in the final test. Okay, I want to analyze with you. It's easy, super easy. It's, I want to copy a vendor. Okay, this problem we can solve it because we have the multiple choice without algebra. So you select one choice, you check the arithmetic part, see see where it's okay or doesn't work. You say it's another option, but let's do it by the systematic way because I'm using algebra now. A vendor sells. Sell hot dog. Uh, and bags of potato chips. Potato chips. Uh, period. A customer. Buy, buy two hot dog. and three oh, bucks of potato chip. Four. Six dollar and twenty five cent period. Another another customer buy four hot dogs. And three bucks of potato chips and the total price for 
15 dólares and 25 cents. Period. Fine. Fine what? Fine the cost. Of each item. Okay, basically is the price. How much dollar you need to use it for one hot dog, hot dog, uni price. So the, the, the uni price for the hot dog. Hot dog price, um, but potato chip price. Okay, okay. So now I set up, I set up the table like that. In this case is using the common sense. For example, I like so much. You put the column. And the column is hot dog. Uh -huh. And potato chip. But. And this is the total money. Or just money, whatever you want to call it, money. And we have two situations, two conditions. The first customer. Customer one and customer two. Uh -huh. I want to call the unit price of the hot dog. I want to call, I need to make decision X and Y. X and Y is the, 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 the classical variable we use in the system of equation. However, some people try to, for example, hot dog, you put H, hot dog. Uh -huh. Or D, and potato, P, and you set out the equation using H and P, or D the way, but oh, no, let's use the same, X and Y. I, I define clear. Uh, the first customer buy, two hot dog, two hot dog, and three potato chips. And spend six dollars and twenty five cents. At the condition. The condition for the second customer is four hot dog. Wow. And three. And the money spent is ten dollars and twenty five. Well, the only thing you should do in order to convert this to equation, this table to equation, is multiplication. Multiplication what? Multiplication the number of hot dog multiplied by the unit price of the hot dog. Here, the unit price of the bat, of the potato chip, put together addition equal this. And this is my first equation, equation number one. It's equation number two is exactly the same, multiplication by the unit price, addition, everything together, equal this. Okay, now when you finish to set up, okay, in my opinion, this is the most complicated part, Okay, now the rest is just algebra. And let's do it by elimination again. Why not? Okay, so I copy, I copy separately. I copy separately. This equation is 2x plus 3y equal 6.25. I convert to, no, no. I convert to the whole number, only the coefficients in front of the variable. But this no, because then you complicate more. So you multiply by 100, you have 200, 300, no, no. Okay, and the second is 4x plus 3y equal $10.25. Okay, 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 okay. So now I propose you, propose you, propose you. For example, this is equation one, this is equation two, I forgot it here, put two. You multiply by negative one, because do you take advantage Okay, one is three, and three. It would be fantastic. I modification, I change something and going to put negative one. But either way, you multiply the first by negative one or the second by negative one. I prefer the first one. I don't know why. Multiplication by negative one. And well, I suppose it's because it's easier. Okay. So say you multiply the equation one by negative one, so we have negative two x minus three y equal minus 625. And this is the equation number one after the multiplication by one. Uh -huh. You forgot temporarily this equation. 
and you focus it 100% in this equation. So it's 2x. 2x is cancel out. Okay. Let's see. And it's a $4, no? Because it's 1025 minus 625, $4. Divide by 2. X2. 2 what? What is that? What the meaning of 2? $2 is the unit price of the hot dog. So actually, it's $2. The unit price, unitary price of one hot dog. In order to find both, because the questions say what is the unitary price of each items? Well, you use either equation. Suppose, 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 what equation I suppose I am using? When I use it. The first one is easier, in my opinion, no? You copy 2x plus 3y equals 625. But I know that x is 2, so 2 times 2 plus 3y equals 6.25. Okay, this is 4. Okay, now solve for y. 3y is equal to 625 minus 4. It's obvious. Wait, 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 wait. It's obvious. It's obvious. It's obvious. Okay, this is 6 minus 4 is 2. The 3y is equal to 25. Divided by 3. And you put in your calculator $2.25 divided by 3. And you get 0 0.75. And that's it. That means that the price of the bad potato chip is 75 cent or 0 0.75 of dollar. Okay, we can verification. You can, no extremely necessary. So you are sure that you are doing well. You don't need to verify. However, just in case, to make sure, you come back to the condition for any customer and verify if the price is good or not using the unit price. So basically, I multiplication two times two because the customer y, customer one, remember, buy two hot dogs plus three times the unit price that we found for the potato chick is 0 0.75. Should be, should be, should be, should be, I clean this statement, $6.25. Okay, this is four dollar. And multiplication, multiplication, zero point seventy five times three is two dollar and twenty five cent. It's exactly the same six dollar and twenty five cent. Boom! I check in the customer one, and the customer two. Well, it's four times two get the price of the hot dog. Time this part I did before is exactly the same. That this is eight dollar plus two hundred twenty five. Is obvious is equal ten twenty five. Exactly the problem. Set. Boom. This is this part is not strictly mandatory. No, it is the checking part to make sure that the answer is okay. Clear or confusing? Wow, what the hell? Ah, yeah, I understand. Okay, clear or confusing? Okay, guys, I talk to you. I talk to you. Please send me today everything. The, the test that you have pending. Uh -huh, the student that have pending also in Alex submit because the due day is today. Uh -huh. And the final, okay? And the student get day with me called algebra. Let's see, October 25th. Waiting for me. I send the email with explanation, everything of the college. Exactly the same. We are doing this. Okay, guys. I love you.